Good morning, y'all. March 13th, Friday the 13th. Good day for hiking. Day 20 on trail. Um, yesterday's video, I was having some leg problems. Um, right thigh is still a little sore this morning. Not terrible. I can walk on it. Maybe it was just a bad cramp. I tried to massage it out a little bit last night. Took some leave before I went to bed. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. Terrible night of sleep. Wind blew hard. Shook the tarp and the hammock and stuff all night long. And then sometime in the wee hours of the morning, we had a, th a thunderstorm kind of in the distance, but we had heavy, heavy rain. So, um... It's 10.30, I'm late getting out of camp, but so is about everybody else. Nobody wanted to pack up in the rain. Um, we're gonna be heading northbound toward Chioa Bald in Stokoa Gap today. I made a mistake the other day when I said something about Jacob's Ladder. That's today. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, nine miles to the next shelter. That's kind of our plan for the day. That's cool, the fog's blowing by. Um, so that's the plan for that. I would really, really like to see the sun just come out for a little bit. But um, anyway, there won't be any views from Chioa. I'm sure of that. So, all right. Well, let me get to hiking, and I will get back with you all shortly. All right, here's the view from Chioa Bald, socked in by clouds. All right, stop the Chioa Bald. You can tell we're just socked in in fog. No view, but it's pretty cool up here anyway. It's neat to get on top of a mountain and just have this grassy area, so pretty cool. Now I think we're working our way back downhill toward Stokoa Gap. It is. 11.13. Less than an hour to get up here. Not bad. Leg's doing okay. A little twinge of pain, but nothing like it was yesterday. So, what do they say? No no pain, no rain, no mane. We could check two of those boxes today or yesterday. Rain, check. Pain, check. Mane still weighs off. All right, I'll get back to you. Hey y'all, it's uh, about 1220. Um, not a lot to see today. Uh, the fog is lifting a bit, but there's no scenery. Um, everything's still kind of, it's low-lying clouds, I guess. So everything down below is socked in and it's still raining off and on. The sun tried to come out about five minutes ago. It got real bright, cast a little shadow on the ground, but and now it's sprinkling rain, so not a big deal. Temperatures are nice. Yeah, so, all right, still working my way towards the code gap. Um, and then we'll see what happens from there, what the next spot is, if I'm going to stealth camp or make that next shelter, which I believe is only a few miles beyond Stokoa. So that's not too bad. Um, yeah, so that's the plan for now, if that's a plan. Um, all right, trail's getting a little sketchy here. Let me, uh, let me get off here and keep an eye on where I'm going. Leg's holding up okay. Um, it was pretty sore a little while ago, but it seems to be working itself out. It's not as bad now. So hopefully that continues to improve. So 
All right, I'll get back with you shortly. It's hard to tell it on the video, but it is dark in here. Looks like we're surrounded by rhododendrons or mountain laurel, whatever it is up here, um, the longer leaf version. And there's the trail going downhill. So, but yeah, I thought it was neat. It just, it's really dark in here. So, all right, keep hiking. Hey y'all, it's uh, about 7.30 uh, on Friday evening, the 13th. Um, I'm at Cabin in the Woods. Uh, my thigh was giving me a lot of problems um, on that final climb and then the descent down to Stokoa Gap. And um, I knew it hurt too bad to try to uh, climb up, up Jacob's Ladder, which would have been across the street. And uh, it's a 700 or 600 and some foot climb in less than a half a mile, something like that. Um, so that's pretty steep and my thigh was killing me. I mean, it just hurt so bad. Um, so I'm resting uh, tonight. I've uh, put some uh, icy hot cream on it. Um, it's still sore. Um, I may zero tomorrow. I don't want to, um, but I may just to give it a, an extra day to, to rest and uh, try to stretch it out a little bit and whatnot. Um, and then hoping to get back on trail, you know, pretty quick so that I can get to Fontana and then uh, into the Smoky Mountains. So um, both yesterday and today, man, I mean, the hike went well. I felt good. Um, really felt like uh, there's no reason not to be able to through hike this thing, you know, um, like I didn't have any doubts. Uh, and then you get an injury or something. So um, we're just going to work through it. We'll figure it out. Um, I mean, I don't think it's anything that's going to end the hike or it's catastrophic. I've just got to uh, take care of it, nurse it a little bit and uh, massage it out and, and try to, you know, just work through the pain. So um, yeah. So just got back from the local Stokoa diner uh, where we had catfish for dinner and mashed potatoes and green beans and hush puppies and sweet tea good eating for sure so um yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and get some rest um and see what happens in the morning i'm probably like i said gonna zero tomorrow um not ideal but um sometimes that's what you got to do so thanks for following along thanks for watching and uh good night and i'll see you all in the morning